Hello Internet, welcome back to Cataclysm, our tutorial playthrough. We're uh, we're trying to work our way over to this hardware store, and honestly, the closer we get, the more I think that we've already been here. And we may have just not marked it as explored, which is... It would be real bad, because uh, we kind of really would like to find a pickaxe or jackhammer. The other benefit of moving over here is that it will reveal more of this area uh, to us because it's the daylight. I think we just clear out the horde here. Yeah, so unfortunately going to be yet another episode where we primarily just do uh, general gameplay stuff. We're not actually going to be targeting any particular tutorial content. I can't even think of anything to talk about that we haven't already. Um, We'll talk about monster evolutions as we see them, but there's really nothing. I've given you a lot of pointers. We're on what episode? We're on episode 59. This is, uh, you know, we, we've done a lot. We've talked about a lot at this point. I don't know that there's a ton left for us to discuss. Uh, most of the big things would be once we get in the lab, talking about how to properly explore the lab, you know, um, figuring out, uh, what mutations you want and CBMs and stuff. That stuff is things we can talk about, but at the moment, I just, I don't have anything. We could look for another vehicle that's drivable that we could use as a disposable vehicle to crash into the, uh, the lab to break the wall down, but I think we would just as likely use our Humvee for that because we would, we would have to repair it anyway to make it drivable after we crashed it. And we might as well just use the Humvee. There's really, it's a big vehicle with a lot of weight behind it and a powerful engine. So it seems like we would want that. We're not going to want to grab a random car and try it. Another shotgun, which is fine, but not that big of a deal. Uh, if we can get in the lab, we never have to worry about <laughs> bullets again. Because we'll have infinite ammunition, essentially. We're going to peek in this house. Uh, I'm just honestly hoping to find a book that would let us craft the uh, pickaxe. But it's not super likely that we're going to find it in a house. Most of those we're looking for bookstores, schools, things like that. I don't know if we're going to find it just in a house. Dainty dishes fit for a king. Well, isn't that nice? We already have both of those. Archery for kids we don't have. We'll take that. A gun safe, but it's an electronic one, so we'd have to hack it, which I don't think we can do. We'll try. We've never really tried one. You cannot hack this. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's fine. Um, so we've already looted. Oh, roaches. I don't want to deal with you. They're annoying to hit, so they'll often land a couple blows on you before you can do anything. Obviously something in the basement, but we'll check the bay. Oh, for God's sake. I'm just going to bail. They're going to follow us upstairs, but... What are you going to do? It's better than fighting them all at once in a confined space. At least this way we can kind of bottleneck them. Are you going to... Oh, you're fighting the roach, I guess. Come on, y'all. I mean, the roaches aren't even fighting the zombies. Don't grab me. That's so rude. We see so many enemies. Where is... To our south at the... Is that an electronic shop? What is that? Hunting supply store. Okay. I mean, there'll be guns and stuff in there. We really should check that, but I also don't care that much. Taking a lot of hits out here today, mostly to our arms again. We don't really have arm armor. Uh, I guess we'll keep fighting these guys. Let's, uh, I mean, we're fine. Let's just go back down. I don't think there's going to be giant cockroach in the way. Giant cockroach in the way. Okay, please move, giant cockroach. I just want to come... Okay, come upstairs. So annoying. Okay. We never did get uh, a tailoring high enough to make chitin armor. That's something we could work towards, but that's not exactly exciting either. Yeah, there's really nothing. We've seen this basement before. Really just hoping to find some books. There's like a tool area down here. Maybe would have a pickaxe, but... Seems unlikely. Pop Mechanics is a good book. Or no, it's not. It's not the one I'm thinking of. Locked Doors. Just give me 
give me something to smash the doors. I don't want to. I'm a little frustrated, Internet. I know we've already talked about it, but like the whole uh, pickaxe thing really put me in a foul mood. So it's just, you know, sometimes in Cataclysm, you're going to hit walls like that. Um, and it's hard not to be frustrated because you're like progressing along. And like, let's say you want to do vehicle work, but you've gone the last, you know, 15 days in the game and you've never found a wrench. It's like, well, you can't get a functional vehicle really without having a wrench. And so your entire life becomes like, oh, we have to find a wrench, but... It's not like something you can target. If you're in a town just full of houses, you can't really target a specific building to find a wrench in, right? So it's just keep clearing, keep clearing, keep clearing until you kind of find something. A cathedral is like one of the worst things that could have been here. This is a terrible building that we're not going to really get any value out of. Um, and it takes up a huge space that could have been occupied by more valuable buildings. So that's really disappointing. These subways, by the way, they do connect underground. So we could potentially get in here and connect all the way up to like another city. It's pretty rare that it does that. It's usually self-contained in the city you're in. Um, but a long time ago, I definitely had one that connected multiple cities together. So I don't know if that's still possible or not. So this house was a huge bust for us. Uh, again, we got some books, but not really the ones we're looking for. Let's start to pull these guys. It must be a uh, listener or something to our south that can't see very well. It's a crawler that can't see very well. Start drawing them over here and just start clearing them out. We might as well hit the hunting shop. We haven't seen one of those yet in the game. Um, and again, they can have some guns and nice knives in them, as well as general hunting uh, and camping supplies. So, In fact, I believe the hunting store is a recent addition. The hunting supply shop, I believe, is what it's actually called. This is a relatively recent addition. We covered it in the Experimental Cataclysm uh, series a couple months ago. If you don't know, that's a show where I talk about updates to the game uh, as they come out, new mechanics, new locations, that kind of stuff. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. Man, they just have trash on them, huh? Kill this guy. Uh, might as well get our stamina back, I guess. No, don't. I don't care about the, the zombie. Ignore. Ah, uh, yes. You... <laughs> You guys really came over here quick, huh? Okay. Let's clear them out as we go. Yeah, it's a relatively new location. A lot of the new locations in the game have very, very high loot density. Um, because, again, they're increasing loot to simulate looting over time later on. So a lot of the new locations have the new style of loot. If you go to old locations, like uh, it's really evident in like the, uh, the mall, for instance... The first floor of the mall is the old style of building. So there's a ton of monsters there, and there's basically no loot in the ground floor at all. It's very, very few and far between, and there are literally hundreds of monsters. We were hitting the eyes there, so we were blinded. So like literally a hundred monsters in a mall uh, in the ground floor, and there's really nothing there to loot. So it's kind of like, what's the point of that location? And it makes sense, you know, people might congregate in a mall. Certainly in zombie fiction, malls have been a uh, center focus. Um, obviously, um, which uh, Dawn of the Dead? Dawn of the Dead was the mall. Um, so obviously Dawn of the Dead is an obvious example. It's been done elsewhere as well. Didn't they, they remade, okay, let me think here. We had the original dawn of the dead where it was the bikers in the mall right and there was like a racism component i really wish you would die and i'm not sure why we're getting hit in the eyes so much we're gonna stay away from the gas zombie we're gonna give some breathing room here i should have just ran but we're gonna pull out our sig this is an optimal zombie for us to use our pistol on and we're gonna kill him he should have very very few hp and when they are killed, they explode into a giant thing of gas. Now you'll see here, it dissipated very, very quickly. If you're indoors, it will be much, much slower. It will take probably minimally 30 minutes for that gas to dissipate. When we're outdoors, it's much, much faster. So killing that guy out here, it went away almost immediately. We're going to take the roadmap, although I believe we've already looked at... This is like the fifth roadmap we found. Um for this particular town. So I don't think it really revealed anything, but that's okay. 
Um, we've got some zombies coming up here. And uh, if you breathe that gas in, it will reduce your strength considerably, which makes melee fighting way less viable. So it's really important if you're able to engage them at range to do so. Because if you fight them in melee and they explode, it will reduce your melee capabilities for quite a long time. That, that poison will last for quite a while. We see another runner. Oh, he's gone now. It must be up to the north. No, or just we can see all the way down there is why. So let's push up again towards the hunting shop, trying to make our way to the hardware store. Ah, oh, we didn't pulp everyone. Did I kill you? I mean, he had a first aid kit on him. We'll take that. Uh, yeah, we did. We, we were fighting by this vehicle. Yeah, we did this. Sometimes you'll find bodies out there, and it's usually good to assess and say, okay, what killed this thing? If I didn't do it, you know, what's... If I'm not the deadliest mofo around here, what is? So unfortunately, this appears to be locked. Now, we can auto lock pick, And we opened it right up. I was going to say it might trigger an alarm, but it didn't. So, probably not a lot. What in God's name is a life straw? Set the life straw in suspect water. Let it sit for one minute, then drink. Two-part filtration system will purify the water you drink. Water taken from uncertain source. How, how does that work? Set the life straw in suspect water and let it sit for one minute. So you're saying if I put this in a bottle of water, I can drink through it after a couple minutes and it will be pure water. How does that make sense? How is the straw filtering the water without agitation or us pouring the water through the straw? If we're drinking through the straw? Or is it just like a water purification tablet in the shape of a straw that then dissolves? I don't, I don't get that at all. I get if it was an item you drink through uh, and it filters it as you drink. Um, which I don't think is really possible in something as small as a straw. Um, you need like a proper, um, even the, like the things that they ship to third world countries for the purposes of, um, the, the excavation tool can't pick anything, right? No, of course not. Um, even the stuff they send to third world that are like super advanced, brand new, high science filters, they're not that small. They can't be that small because it just doesn't. It doesn't actually work. These are all like the same gun in a stack. Okay, I don't like most of this. Uh, we do have a bow as well as some decent quality arrows. So we could use some bow and arrow stuff, but we're very bad at it. I think we'll take the arrows and the bolts as well as the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber are pre-cataclysm manufactured arrows. But they also are very quick to be damaged, if I recall. They're very not recoverable. We also have some slingshots as well as a crossbow. Crossbows are pretty great. Uh, I do like crossbows in this game. Go ahead and unload the shot here. I don't see any reason for us to take duplicates of the same gun. So let's drop some of these. I also don't really want the 22 at all. But yeah, let's unload. They've all been unloaded. So let's drop the empty ones. No reason for us to carry a whole crap ton of uh, stuff with us. Yeah. So, guns. Fair bit of guns here, which is nice. Fair bit of ammunition. Medium disposable. Unfortunately, is only partially charged, so it's not like we would get a lot of value out of it. We're really looking for a medium non-disposable. That way we can recharge it and use it uh, to shuffle in and out of our welder. This uh, type of safe requires a stethoscope, which we do not have. Canteens can be filled with beverages and then carried and worn on your person. Uh, I don't often find any reason to wear them. I almost never do. Uh, office, subway station. I really was hoping there would be good things here. So we want to get to this hardware store, which is going to require us to clear out quite a bit of enemies. Again, we have a zapper zombie here. He will upgrade into a shocker, which is much scarier. So we kind of want to kill them when we see them. Otherwise, if we come back in the future, they may be upgraded. The zappers don't have CBMs in them, so no reason to dissect them. Here we've drawn the attention of the horde. Again, we can kind of use this vehicle here and the corner of the building to uh, make it so they don't all hit us at the same time. Some of them will get stuck in the building. 
some will get stuck on the vehicles um, and that will give us a chance to clear them out as they approach that way they're not approaching you know four at a time um, they're kind of staggered like this which uh, we're making quick work of them <sighs> just want a pickaxe just want to go loot the lab looting labs is a lot of fun as well because it's like a genuinely dangerous place whereas where we are now we could even honestly we could walk over to where that horde was draw all of their attention and still very easily escape them there's not a lot of danger when you're in the open world like this um we are injured but not to the point where we're in any real danger I'm not gonna take a guitar i don't need a guitar so we want to clear them out so we can get over to that uh, hardware store without having them sneak up behind us, basically. Child zombie could be an issue again. Hard to hit. Hard to hit those little buggers. See if we can get them trapped in the vehicle. Okay, a couple of them. So that'll make them dealing with a little bit easier. Make dealing with them a little bit easier is what a normal person who speaks English would have said. Oh, I'm very phlegmy today as well. My throat is just constantly gravelly, and it's uh, it's not great. It's not great. Let's pop that open. See if we can pull one out. Come on, child, get out of there. You don't want to be in that car. So yeah, 16 uninterrupted minutes of fighting zombies. Pretty exciting. Come on now. There you go. Uh, pretty exciting. I know this is not like great tutorial content again because I don't know what to talk about Yeah, let's not do that until we've cleared out this final zombie. There you go Smash smash check them check them uh, It'd be great if I just came across like a minor zombie that had a, a pickaxe in his hands But I don't think those exist. So what are you gonna do ignore? Okay, see if we can get in here now uh, there are still some and since we're going in the front door uh, We'll check if there's a back door But if we're gonna go in the front door, we're gonna have to clear out some of those down the road as well because they're gonna see us going in nor Check them check them nothing Let's check the back door deal with these guys. Oh, there's so many of them. Okay Just go over this way and again get them caught on the building a little bit <sighs> yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. Um, my recording schedule's real messed up. Um, I, again, have been taking a break from YouTube for the most part. Which has been fine. It's been good for me, even. Um, but now I'm kind of at a loss for what to record when I do sit down to record. Obviously, Cataclysm, um, doing the tutorial Let's Play. But, like, um... Everything I try to record falls through. I uh, tried to record Fallout New Vegas because I know I love that game and I've been real depressed and I thought if I played something I loved, I'd have a lot easier time. Plus people love Fallout New Vegas uh, and you should because it's the best Fallout game no matter what anyone tells you. It's just amazing. It's my favorite Fallout game. It's my favorite Bethesda game. It's so good. Okay, so I don't think we've been here. We probably would have taken some of this stuff Actually, no. I was going to say nails and whatnot, but actually, I don't know. So there is a back door, so let's just clear out the remainder here. So I was excited to play that, started recording that. Well, it stutters all the time, uh, no matter what settings I use. OBS says that uh, there's no issues at all with the recording. So there's, according to OBS, it's flawless. Um, the game doesn't stutter for me, so uh, there's something going on because no matter what, the game is extremely stuttery, uh, both regular stutters and micro stutters. Oh, thank God, a jackhammer. Thank you, Internet. Uh, or rather, thank you, Deity of Cataclysm. Sorry, Internet, you're not responsible for this. I'm sure you were wishing that I found one so I would stop complaining. But it's an electric jackhammer, which is the worst version of the jackhammer and pickaxe. I would even have taken a manually powered pickaxe over the jackhammer. The reason for this is because, so the, the, the regular jackhammer uses gasoline as fuel. Gasoline is incredibly plentiful and uh, gasoline has a lot more energy to it. So trying to use a gasoline powered jackhammer, you can jackhammer a lot of walls before you need to refill it. The pickaxe you can do infinitely. As long as you have stamina and time, you can pickaxe any wall down as long as you have a pickaxe. The electric jackhammer on the other hand, 
it uses an enormous amount of electricity. So this electric jackhammer, even though it's rechargeable, uh, since it has the UPS installed, all we have to do is drop the whole jackhammer right onto our recharging station and it will be um, built up and recharged. Even though it's rechargeable, which is great, um, it uses literally like 5,000 of its battery charge per wall. So we can only pickaxe, like we can only jackhammer one, maybe two walls. I don't remember the exact draw. Um, it doesn't say here, but uh, it uses a huge portion of its battery charge. So basically every time we break down a wall, we have to recharge it. And in the lab, that's really frustrating because you'll go down in the lab three, four floors and you'll go to a, you know, an armory or whatever. And you have to, first you have to jackhammer through the wall to get into the barracks. Then you have to jackhammer through the wall to get into the armory. And if you don't have charge, you have to run all the way back up the flights of stairs, wait for it to recharge, walk back down. It's just annoying. So I would have preferred any other jackhammer. It also weighs a hundred, it weighs 87 pounds, pretty substantial. So we're gonna be over encumbered here, unfortunately. Uh, and there's some other good stuff here. I don't really care about most of this. We're gonna grab a toolbox or two, a workshop toolbox, stout metal box containing complete tools for most household maintenance and construction activities, additional tools used in workshops for advanced fab jobs. So let's scroll down. What would be the advanced fabrication stuff? Three hammering, maybe? I don't think... Oh, reaming. Okay, reaming is, is definitely a new one. Uh, clamping is one I've never seen before. So this must be a new-ish item. Usually you would find toolboxes. This is a workshop toolbox. It's different. I believe it's the, uh, the pin reamer, the file set, and the clamp are the new things here. So that's interesting. We'll definitely take it. Uh, and we're gonna grab this one as well, which is a regular toolbox. So if we scroll down, you'll see this one doesn't have the pin reaming or the clamping or anything. Um, but toolboxes basically are one of the most valuable things in Cataclysm. A toolbox has all the tool qualities that we're gonna need most of the time. So instead of carrying a hacksaw, a hammer, um, you know, a pocket knife, a, well, I mean, we'll keep the pocket knife. But a screwdriver, all this stuff that we, we carry in our inventory, sometimes a wrench, we don't need any of that. All we need to carry is the toolbox. So it's just a, a more convenient way of carrying all those tools. And I imagine they take up less space as well. So we found what we were looking for. Thank God. So let's kill. Wow, you're really taking it to me here, Feral. Is my uh, armor damaged or something? I mean, the duffel bag is just... Oh! because of our encumbrance. Yeah, we have a, like a 50% chance to miss, which is bad. We also hear clanging, which is likely them trying to destroy the fence down there. So let's get out of here. And we're gonna head back to base. And we're overburdened, so we're losing stamina. So we're gonna come over here to a safe-ish spot. And why don't we pop in the vehicle? Cause uh, zombies take a long time to destroy vehicles. Get our stamina back. And I don't suppose you're drivable. Nope, no tank. We're going to see if we can grab a vehicle because I'm not leaving this jackhammer behind. So we're going to look for a vehicle to drive home in, essentially. What do you got going on? Gas, engine, battery, wheels, no security system, no controls. You son of a... You were so close. Whatever. The bicycle will do. Uh, it's not optimal. Let's drop the jackhammer in the bucket here. Mm, we can also drop a lot of books if we really need to do it manually. You put your electric jackhammer in the bicycle's wire bike basket. Very important when you do something like that, that you verify that by reading the message. Because uh, sometimes if this was too big, let's say, let's say this was a very small box and we had a, a huge item, like we were pulling, I don't know, a storage battery or something, a very large car battery into this and we dropped it in there and it did not go in it would say you drop it on the ground and then you drive away thinking you put it in your basket when in reality it's on the ground and then you'll lose it forever because you'll forget where you were so definitely important to take note of that we're gonna get our stamina back and we're gonna bike our way home here which is a long a long drive i'm glad we came out here go ahead and mark this as explored this town sucks man there's another hardware store? Oh no, this was the... There is another hardware store. 
I mean, at this point, we've gotten. Uh, let's let's mark this another unsorted, unlooted hardware store, um, because I may notice the note before I notice the uh, the hardware aspect of it. We have everything we need tool wise now. Yeah, we have everything. The only other thing we could maybe pick up in hardware stores would be acetylene torches. I even think there were some in that building that I just ignored. There were tanks or something. Um, acetylene can be used to cut metal, which uh, I believe will also let you in the front door of the lab. I'm not sure. I think they're a cuttable door. Problem is, if you do that, you're immediately faced with the turret in line of sight with you and then you will die. So don't do not do that. Um, definitely you want a pickaxe. If you're going to go in through a wall, the pickaxe, jackhammer, those are the things you really want. Can't really ram zombies with a bicycle. Where does this road go to? We can wrap all the way through here. We'd have to go through the railway station though. And we haven't really cleared this area. That still seems like the safest way to go. We'll, we'll try. We'll get eyes on the railway station. If it turns out terrible, then oh well. So again, just uh, when you're off-roading, try to avoid hitting the rocks, the boulders. Uh, they will damage your vehicle. In a bicycle, it may even be enough to destroy a tire or something. Which, uh, spoiler alert, you don't want to destroy your tire while you're riding a bike. Also, there are no seatbelts on bicycles. So if you plow into a wall going very fast, you will be very significantly injured. Um, I assume that that's still a very high damage. Used to be if you crashed into a building with no seatbelt on it was a uh, pretty often an instant kill so i'm not sure if it's still so high damage or not but even if it's not you really don't want to be hit by it got a little horde out here uh looks like they probably chased a fox out here do we want to try we just bike around them see how many are over at the railway station we really you know what on second thought we don't want to lead them towards the base so let's keep them moving in this direction and we'll just head up north here the reason I didn't want to go through the town is because I'm on a bike and I'm not super great at driving in Cataclysm. And uh, if we were to accidentally clip an enemy, we could fall off the bike and be in a very dangerous predicament. It mostly seems okay this, this way. We've cleared this already. And this should be our road home? No. One road over. Okay. Oh, this is where the baseball diamond is to our north. Right. I know where we are. Okay. Okay. Oh, my throat. I'm so gravelly today. It's not very flattering, but what are you going to do? I was going to not record anymore, but I was a little frustrated. And I thought if I came back with a little bit different energy, I uh, maybe could put together a decent episode. Didn't really bring the energy like I wanted to, but uh, this episode turned out good because we found a jackhammer and a toolbox. Again, toolboxes might as well be made of solid gold. They're extremely valuable. Um, you can craft them, I believe. But it requires all the tools that go into it. So we would need like a screwdriver set and a wood saw. Wood saws, again, can be a little tricky to find. We've only seen, I think, two the entire game that we've been playing. It's similar to the um, general repair kit that we've seen, except that the toolbox, uh, because it has a lot of qualities in one item, the difference is that the toolbox does not require an ammunition, whereas the repair kit requires you to have... Um, uh, duct tape in order to use it and it's more tool qualities the um, general repair kit for instance doesn't have the metal sawing ability i don't think where is let's look at the general repair kit general nope can't type nope can't type it's misc it's not general misc repair kit let's pick that up and compare them side by side just to look at their qualities misc repair kit toolbox uh, yeah, so you'll see this is mostly about wood stuff. Uh, and again, this is the tool that's required to repair wood materials. So it has tree cutting and butchering and cutting and whatnot. This has a lot more like hammering and prying and metal sawing, which are all very valuable for vehicle work in particular, um, but are good for other things as well. It is worth noting that this prying quality is not enough to open uh, doors and windows. We should really see about making a proper crowbar. All it requires is some metal. Let's make a crowbar real quick. Crowbar. We're at 30 minutes. Let's make a crowbar. The proper crowbar does have the ability to pry open doors and windows, which is something we've been missing this whole time. 
I initially intentionally avoided the crowbar because I wanted to show you that it's not necessary. A lot of people, this was a recent change. Used to be the makeshift crowbar could pry doors and windows and then it changed and people got really upset saying like, how do I play without using a crowbar? It's totally doable. You've seen me do it the whole game. You can just smash windows. You can break down doors. Um, you can use lock picks. There's no reason for you to need a crowbar. But it doesn't hurt to have a crowbar either. Why am I still overweight? Let's drop probably all the guns. Let's drop all this stuff. We don't need most of this um, anymore. So drop everything, really. And then we will pick back up our SIG. Shouldn't have dropped that. SIG. And we will pick back up the toolbox, which we will favorite so that that's in our inventory at all times. You don't need to carry it on you at all times. It is uh, somewhat voluminous. So if we go to toggle that, you'll see it takes up almost three liters, uh, two and a half liters looks like. So it is pretty voluminous, but I usually just leave it in my inventory. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but if you're trying to min-max, you can just leave that in your car and just pick it up when you need it. I personally would rather have it on me at all times, so I have those tools available at all times. And uh, yeah, so we, we got the tools we were looking for. We should take some time to heal before we go to the lab, and we also want to put the cargo spaces in our vehicle. We should also talk about supplies that you should take with you when you go to the lab. So we have a little bit of prep work before we get there, but this is a good step. Finding that jackhammer, very important. Toolbox is also very important, but we were getting by. We had most of the tools we needed anyway, but toolbox is nice. Um, so that's going to do it for now, I think, for this episode. Uh, again, apologies for it being just general gameplay. I would like to get to more tutorial content, but I just uh, until we get to the lab, I don't know that there's much to talk about. Uh, if you have suggestions for things you would like to hear me talk about, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Once we get into labs, that's going to take up a lot of our time, so I can't guarantee that I'll get to it immediately. But um, yeah, I, I'm fine with suggestions. You know, people have made suggestions, and then I've made videos about them. That's kind of the goal, is to teach you things. So if you have questions, go ahead and hit me up. I can't guarantee that I have the answer, but I will try my best. For now, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I will be back with more Cataclysm tutorial content in the near future, and I'll see you next time.